Jeff Barney has to be probably one of those victories where uh, I fought him three times. The second time that I fought him, I, I beat him, and I, I trained hard for that fight, but he was whooping on me, man. He was... I, I advise everybody who, who just wants to get into something and you're gonna find some really humble and really awesome people, you know? Mm -hmm. You know the fight game. The fight game for me was a a blessing in disguise. You know, I, I I was trying to make. I was trying to like first, when I realized I could make some money out of it, I could like, oh, I could make some money out of this. You know, and I could you know take me op open up doors because I'm not a football player, I'm not a basketball player, I'm not a tennis player. So I I, I started seeing it as like this is an opportunity probably to you know make my wish my dreams come true as as any as as all human beings like them. I could have been good at basketball. I could have been good at football. You know, I could have made the NFL if I was just two inches, you know, bigger. Right. But uh, fighting for me was a was a blessing in disguise, and, and it's it's not it's not for everybody. If you don't want to get punched, you know, and you don't like to get some, you know wrestled with another man, and, and you know, and be getting choked out, and be going to this repetition of of kicking and punching and it's not for everybody, but for me, it definitely was, you know, because, you know, you, of the lifestyle that I had growing up, you know, the outlets that I needed, the, the things that I wasn't introduced to me as a young kid, you know? Yeah. So as an adult, you start to do, want to do all these things that you couldn't do as a, as a juvenile. But um, fighting, is, uh, fighting is fun. I truly enjoy it. I truly enjoy training for it. I truly enjoy being in the cage. Um, Wanting to punch somebody is, is is exciting to me, you know. Mm. It's 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 freedom to me. Mm. I, I don't know how else to say it. I want to compare it to to uh, to a lot of things, but I want to keep it. Uh, I want to keep it professional because my daughters are gonna are gonna watch this, you know. Right. But uh, I compare it. I compare it to freedom, mm. like the ultimate freedom at that time. Like there you go. Mm -hmm. He's gonna hit you. You hit him before he hits you. You know, and it's it, it that's a sense of freedom. That's the only freedom I've ever felt in my life. You know, is that just being in the cage and and doing what I possibly can to to be victorious. You know, in a battle. You know, it's it's it was it was liberating to me, and I truly enjoy it. You know, and I'm gonna miss it if I don't get to do it. I'm truly gonna miss it if I don't get to do it one more time. Yeah, can you share with us uh, maybe like your like a hard fought victory that you that you got that you. There's probably one victory that kind of sticks out to your mind that you're like, that one, man, like, that was... That I lost or that I won? Because I lost a lot of fights. Well, <laughs> I'm saying and I won a lot of fights, yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. A victory, where you, know, uh, where, victory. You, where you really had to dig so deep and you um, pulled it off. Because we, you know, you, you sometimes you lose fights that you, you're very just as proud of as, as the victory. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's a lot of guys who actually put a whooping on me who I was like, damn, I can't believe I even hung, hung with him. Wow. You know, like, wow, that guy's... A top caliber, you know, and mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, some guy who was uh, totally undisciplined. I, I, I approach the game like, like I approach the streets, you know, mm -hmm. with, with just recklessness, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was really good at it. I had I, uh, I had this, uh, what is it called, uh, the I don't give a fuck attitude, mm -hmm. what happens. And that's something that some people need to apply to their life, you know, like mm -hmm. when they do something, they got to not... I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna do it. You know, roll the dice. We're gonna have fun with this, and we're gonna do it. And that's how I was approaching the fight game in that sense. But uh, Jeff Barney has to be probably one of those victories where uh, I fought him three times. The second time that I fought him, I, I beat him, and I, I trained hard for that fight. But he was whooping on me, man. He was a guy who was just had my number, you know. Louis, 160 pounds. Official weight, 
158 pounds from Grand Junction, Colorado. He was the first guy I fought in Grand Junction who, uh, who I was scared of because he fought for Chuck Norris's co uh, World Combat League, mm. and that's a league that was on ESPN. That's something that you, I mean, that me as a fight fan, I remember watching. Like, oh, look! But I remember, I don't remember him, him, in particular. You know, yeah. I remember, I don't remember Jeff Barney. You know, he's around the big timers. But to be on that World Combat League in that circuit, mm -hmm. you, you know, you're a bad, you're a badass, you're yeah. a kickboxer. You know, you're, you know, you're. And I fought him once, the first time I fought, you know, and um, when I fought him the second time, I was like, yeah, I'm ready for him. And, I, and I, when, I, when I beat him, it was the most, it was like the most, it was, a, it was, a, it was like. Gratifying. Yeah, it was so gratifying because he was winning. He was beating me up, man. He was doing what he wanted with me. But in the end, I. Uh, so how many rounds was it? And what, was it a decision? Was the first decision? one was decision. Second one I lost. I, I, I beat him in the second round in the, in the second one. And the third one he beat me in the first round. Just I was just trying to knock him out. I just... How did you beat him in the, in the second round? In the, in the second, second fight? fight. Yeah. I beat him with a, a, a technical knockout a punch, with punches in the second round. I mounted him. And so I, he, he was just not fighting back? He yeah, was, just wasn't properly... He wasn't intelligent defending himself. And, uh, was, he, was he out? Or was he no, just kind of... No, he was just, he was just, you know, he just wasn't intelligent defending himself. And, uh, and the referee kept talking to him, saying, you defend yourself, like they always do. Mm -hmm. The commission does a good, really good job to talking to you before the fight and, and during the fight. It's, so it's, as, as you're, you, you're, you're mount, you have him mounted, yeah. and you're giving him the business, and the ref is telling him, like, yeah, you, you got to move, yeah. You got to move, you got to move. I kept going faster and, you, and harder, yeah. Kept going. And I beat him, and then, and then it finally was, the ref just kind of pushed you off, and is that yeah, like, did it, yeah. does it go down like that? Yeah, it goes down like that. It's just like, oh, I can't believe it. It's just, oh. <laughs> Cause he was beating me up. It's like I finally had my number again, you know. How I did thought, you get? How did you get in that position? Did you did you go for a takedown, and then you just got? Well, you're gonna have to watch the fight for yourself. But, but where, I, where, where do we find that? Is, is you, it's he, on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It? It, it is on okay. YouTube. But but uh, he it. It went, it went from a, uh, the, it just went from transitions and me getting up and then us starting in the second, in, in the second round on our feet again. And then, and then just, it's, it's just beautiful movement, man. MMA is, MMA is so much fun. I, I advise everybody who, who just wants to get into something and you're going to find some really humble and really awesome people, you know, mm -hmm. go do jujitsu and get into Muay Thai, get into kickboxing. I mean, it, it there are some awesome people that work out in those places, you know. Nice. The, the